How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. We have a hundred billionaire, a someone that is very, very wealthy that is talking about Bitcoin now. Someone that hasn't talked about crypto in years, it seems like. Uh, now it seems like he may be buying and he might be getting his company to buy as well. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on the bell notification underneath the video so you can see future videos just like this one, as soon as I make them, there's also going to be a link to Marjax underneath the video in case you want to start trading cryptocurrencies. You can do so over on Marjax. You can set up in just a few seconds. And if you're sitting here thinking, wow, I don't want to long this market. Well, you can short the market as well. Of course, you can always set stop losses and take profits as well. So you can make it as safe as possible. And you can also get a bit of a bonus when you sign up uh, that can be used towards trading fees. There's also a link underneath the video to coin w where you can trade cryptos plus you can get up to a hundred you can get part of the hundred million jungle airdrop meme coin that's quite small so maybe it does really well and you get some free tokens that are worth a good amount one day so check out both those links underneath the video and let's get into it so michael dell yesterday out of nowhere just says scarcity creates value okay michael saylor says underneath this bitcoin is digital scarcity Bitcoin Archive says two Michaels uh, buying Bitcoin is better than one. Corey Klipstein from Swan says, tell us you're a Bitcoiner without telling us you're a Bitcoiner. Scarce money unlocks value creation and abundance of money. It destroys value creation. Okay, so a lot of people commenting on this. It's got 1.7 million views. And why is this so important? Well, he goes on to repost what Michael said which is Bitcoin is digital scarcity. Why is this so important? Well, obviously Dell is a large company. If you didn't know, they're around $100 billion market cap. They're up 94% so far this year. Michael Dell is worth a lot of money, $113.5 billion. Now to put this into context, this is about the same as Jensen Hang, Jensen Huang, uh, I, Jensen uh, from NVIDIA, who's grown their company to be the largest in the world by market cap. Uh, so this is a similar net worth. Uh, this puts him at like the 14th largest on or 14th wealthiest person in the world. Uh, he owns, if you didn't know, he owns 59% of the Dell company. It's a public company worth about 108 billion last time I checked, uh, which was just a few minutes ago. Um, which means he has another 30, 40 billion in other assets and other companies. This was not where he ended the conversation, though. He says, This is a great account to follow. Me at me, Cookie Monster. Very entertaining. And then he posts this picture of a Cookie Monster eating Bitcoin. Okay. Okay. This is interesting. He still is like just hinting at something. And. He's talked about crypto in the past. I want to show you what he said. So Michael Dell has all this money, right? He owns probably a handful of businesses even outside of Dell because, again, he owns like 60, maybe $70 billion worth of Dell. And then he has a net worth of uh, another $40 billion or $50 billion. So maybe he's one of the wallets that we consistently look at that buys a ton of Bitcoin. Uh, let's just look at Dell's stock price. So this is a young, younger guy too. I mean, 59, right? He's not, he's not super old. Dell has just grown and grown and grown, as you can see here. Uh, just been a fantastic company over the last. I mean, this just shows the last eight years, but it's up 11. Uh, it's up 1100 percent. So it's done a 12x. I think a lot of us would be happy with that over eight years. Uh, so he may be buying Bitcoin. Also, his company is sitting on six billion in cash. Now he's posting about Bitcoin. Are we going to see another billionaire pull off the micro strategy playbook? Interesting. Maybe he's going to convert his company into a Michael Saylor play. Of course, let, let's actually pull up the company itself. Maybe we can take a look at their profits here. We can. Let's just pull up annual here. So we're talking about revenue around $100 billion, maybe a little bit less some years, as you can see. Uh, cash flow fluctuates a lot from $5 billion to $10 billion. Generally, EPS positive. They've been buying back shares recently, so 
they have some extra cash flow. Looks like they're reinvesting it into themselves, buying back their company. Um, so yeah, maybe they're looking for something that provides a little bit better return. Right now it's selling at a 15.9% forward PE, which means that people are not even paying as much for this as the general stock market. So it's interesting. Now he's talked about Bitcoin before. Michael Dell started a billion dollar tech company in his dorm room. If he was a teen today, he said he'd be all over crypto. Okay, when asked about his thoughts on young people starting out in the crypto space, whether it's digital assets or other assets like NFTs, Dell says, if I was a teenager right now, I'd probably be all over that. He says he thinks it's super interesting. There's still a lot uh, a lot to be worked out in terms of what the investment looks like and what type of investment it is for everyone, but I think it's interesting. Uh, he's saying that he's personally invested in a few blockchain enabling technologies. We're helping a lot of customers implement blockchain at some, at some sort of enterprise level. Okay, so he's invested in crypto, most likely Bitcoin, and then a few other smaller cryptocurrencies. He's super wealthy. He could have billions and billions of dollars in crypto. And keep in mind, he's been wealthy for a while. Like he's owned Dell for, <laughs> he founded Dell. So he's been wealthy for a long time. He's in the tech space. He could have easily been in Bitcoin a long time ago. He could be worth even more than we expect. And he could be one of these whales. Like we always, a lot of people always wonder, who is Mr. 100? Who's Mr. 100? We've talked about it before, and there are other wallets too that people wonder about. When you invest a few billion dollars into Bitcoin over a span of a year, most likely you're someone that has a hundred billion dollars, give or take. Right? I mean, if you're worth ten billion dollars, a lot of it's probably locked up in a company. Right? Like, how do you get to a billion dollars? You probably own a company. So a lot of it's probably tied up in a company unless you sell your company. Even then, then you're looking at huge amounts of tax liability. So if you have a $10 billion company, you pay 40% taxes because you sell the whole thing in one year, you're probably not going to go out and buy two or $3 billion worth of Bitcoin, right? You're probably going to be a little bit more careful than that. So you have to have a ton of money and probably use it as a hedge. So how do you buy $3 billion of one asset in a year? You probably have 50 to $100 billion net worth. And even that, I mean, you're, you're talking about a significant amount of money. You're going to have to pay taxes on the money that you get, right? Maybe you can get around it somehow. But it's very, very difficult to be one of these large wallets. So I would not be surprised if Michael Dell is the person that we're talking about, right? Is the Mr. 100, is some large holder of Bitcoin has been fundamental in this journey. He's one of the wallets that we consistently look at. Uh, and to be clear, he might be doing even more with Bitcoin in the future. Maybe he's going to go out and buy some with his company, with Dell. I'm curious to see what happens. Let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video. I really appreciate it. Check out the links underneath. And if you are going to Bitcoin Nashville, there's a link to that underneath the video as well. If you use that link, you use my code as well, you get 10% off. And then you get an additional 21% off if you pay in Bitcoin, which is pretty cool. So definitely check out those links. I'm going to be there. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.